Looking at the cruise performance chart, it gives us a chance to see what our expected fuel burn would be and also our expected true airspeed. So for our scenario, we are going to uh, plan to do a VFR flight at 4,500 feet. The first thing we need to do is to calculate out our pressure altitude. And with the pressure setting of 3042 minus 2992, we get a difference of 0.5, which is really 500 feet. And um, because the pressure is a high pressure, the air is thick, so our cruise altitude, we would have to take our 4,500 and subtract that 500 from it. So our pressure altitude for our cruise is actually 4,000 feet. So when we look at our pressure altitude, we would choose 4,000. Now the next thing is we have temperatures. We have 20 degrees below standard, we have standard temperature, and 20 degrees above standard. Now remember what standard is, is at sea level, sea level, the standard temperature is 15 degrees Celsius, and we lose 2 degrees Celsius per 1,000 feet. So at 1,000 feet, the temperature would be 13, and at 2,000 feet, the standard temperature would be 11, 9, 7, 5, and so on. And in our example, when we obtained the weather, they said that the temperature was 16 degrees at our 4,500. So if it's 16 degrees, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So right here, the temperature really should be 6 degrees. But in our example, it's 16 degrees Celsius. So we are plus 10 degrees Celsius over standard. So we really could interpolate between the standard temperature and the 20 degrees above standard if we wanted to. The values are so... Uh, close together in this scenario, we could either uh, take the worst case scenario or we could interpolate. But we'll go ahead and interpolate just for practice. So the next thing we may want to do is decide what percent power we want to burn, like what fuel burn do we want. If we wanted to go with about, you know, 62 percent power, then it looks like our RPMs would be set at 2,000 or 2,400 RPMs. You may want to uh, select a RPM setting based off on your fuel burn or based off your true airspeed. But whichever RPMs you select is up to you. Just make sure that once you've calculated it like that for your performance, that you actually fly that so you know what your expected fuel burn is going to be. So we've come up with 4,000 feet pressure altitude. We decided we're going to use 2400 RPMs and we will interpolate between the standard temperature and the plus 20 above standard. So we have our true airspeed in knots is 110 or 108. So therefore we would expect our true airspeed to be about 109. Now again, don't forget that these charts were made when the aircraft was brand new. So I would never trust that value. I would probably use a true airspeed closer to 105, if not even 100. And then also our fuel burn would be somewhere between 6.7 and 7.1. So we would call it maybe 6 point, well, our fuel, or gallons per hour, would be about, um, we said uh, 6.9, but again, I would never trust that value. I would probably go with something closer to about 7.5 gallons per hour to be on the safe side. So when you're using the cruise performance chart, it's necessary to calculate your pressure altitude, decide which temperature column you're in, and decide what RPM setting you want based on uh, the fuel burn perhaps, or based on the true airspeed that you desire, or just simply based on the brake horsepower, which is the percent power you're asking for out of the engine. And then don't be afraid to fudge your numbers on the side of safety.